Well, hello, weary travelers, and welcome back to Fallout 2. We are still currently in Chinatown, even though um, I'm getting ready to do one last loot run, if I recall. Uh, but before we go back up there, I was really needing to find myself a crowbar. I'm going to check in here and see if I can just buy one. Otherwise, I'm going to have to run all the way back down into the Hubologist's place. Which I'm not too thrilled to think about that. I could just pause it and do it all off screen. You know, no one mentioned this in his comments, but maybe I can even shoot the door open. I believe that might work. Or shoot that locker open. I don't know why I called it a door. Locker door, maybe. Uh, do you have any ammo? No. I believe I've already taken all your crap for this shipment. Let's check back in two weeks. Which is probably how long it's going to take me to get back from this place. So that leads to the Emperor. Oh, I hate doing this. But actually, I think I'll force you guys to come along with me because why not? You're in the, you're in it for the long haul at this point. You're free to drop out and leave and abandon the playlist. <sighs> and the game is free to crash too, son of a bitch. I'll be back with the crowbar. Fate has saved you. Okay, so it turns out we can't go back into the Hubologist's area ever. Ever again. As soon as I step foot down that stairwell, the game crashes. So, I had to go buy a crowbar from uh, the merchant on the... What would it be? The east side of town? No, I don't want to bump into a press gang. And also... Hey, more Hubologist's. Also, I need to see if that motion sensor is helping my outdoorsmen by being in my inventory. Maybe it needs to be in one of my item slots. Not scared of you guys, unless there's about eight of you. Uh, and I'm not even fully healed, that's great. Make them blind! Give them an eye piercing. We splatter his brains across the desert ground. Nope. I was kind of hoping in my mind that that was going to be a critical hit and kill him. Okay, 1400 experience. This is, th this is, if nothing else, at least really good for leveling. Take all that. And all the money a person could ever need. 16,000 caps already. And I still have plenty of room. I'm going to rest, you know... Let's see, doctor. Yeah, my doctor skill is only 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I do have all that medical stuff. Failed to do any healing. We heal 5 hit points. I don't even know if this is quicker than resting with my pit boy. The strain might kill me. No, it's, it's really not. I can just set it on cruise control, kick back, and take a drink of my tea. That is so good. You have no idea how good that is. Because you guys haven't tasted my tea. Ah. We sleep in till 10 o'clock in the morning. Before packing our bags and heading out west. Let's reload our brutalator here. The one shot fatality maker. Oh, I still didn't check that motion sensor. Wow. Hubologist spending off a press gang. If I'm not mistaken, I should be able to just indiscriminately open up fire. But on who? Maybe on you. Because you're looking at me. Nobody die right there. Drives the blade into his belly. 
slicing off a piece. Well, that's an easy way to deal with that problem, I guess. And you're running right for me, aren't you? She trips and lands with the gun in her mouth. It's the last mistake she ever makes. And what do they shoot with again? These guys have needlers. I can't remember what weapon the Habologists use. They might have needlers too. I could be thinking of the wrong thing. Well. Nice. She jabs the blade into the into the side of his Chest. Trying to figure out how to say into his back, and I said inside, in the side. Click, click, click. To use this ammo, or to save it. Let's use it. We level the gun at him. We don't even have to get close. It fires such a massive, quick shot. That it leaves a huge vortex in its wake. It just shreds anything. Except for that dude, apparently. I sure wish I could see just one more sunset. It's not gonna happen. Or maybe it will. Let's see. Can I get you with one shot? Yes, I can. 100 experience. How close am I to leveling up? Still quite a ways to go. I had hoped that I was closer. Because I believe it's going to be a perk next time. Another power fist. Lots of power fists. Tons of these little melee weapons. I'm not even sure they're worth the wait, to be honest. Why did you all bring knives to a gunfight? Why? I wanna loot. You maybe? There we go. It's exactly what I was looking for. And you. And I'm already at weight. Okay, let me sort some of this out. I'm not sure what I wanna drop off if the time comes. 65. We already lost three pounds just by consolating the ammo here. Consolidating? I think that's the word. Brain. Never work. So. Let's get out of here, I guess. You just kind of have to think of this as the organ trail. Except it's Fallout style. Instead of dysentery, you face golden geckos and roving bands of the Enclave. Bastards. You're all bastards. So close. One more AP. You were critically shredded by the gecko for five points of damage. You feel a bruise coming on your shoulder. Get out there. We got places to be. It's time to go see our second family. I should probably have saved it right there. Can I make it? Yes, wow, that was like the longest journey I think we've ever had. And to commemorate that, it's going to be save number 400. The longest journey we've ever had. At least on the west coast here without getting ambushed by some bullshit. You've been ambushed by barrels of radioactive waste. How did you let this happen, you fool in Enclave Patrol? We wisely sneak around the back ridge. It adds an extra three miles to our trip, but it's better than encountering them. Just go right here. That was another really long journey. 
Okay, let's see. Outdoorsman is 94. If I put that there, still 94. Okay. Making sure that's not my Geiger counter. So I guess it does work just by having it in your inventory. Here we are. I'm getting into that locker this time, even if I have to plant all of my C4 right in front of it. The, the main problem is, I, I have to have what's in that locker, because if I don't get it, I'm pretty sure my only other option is to try and kill everyone in this base. Which, if you might have guessed, is a little bit difficult for me. Yes, I know, it requires something to unlock it. That's why I tried to use it too late. Which is a damn shame that thing won't stay permanently unlocked. And now that I don't have to worry about Rex, this is a little bit easier. And also, I might try to use that computer again. Now that I've murdered everyone. Okay, choose the crowbar. We successfully pry open the lock on the object. Amazing. Worked the first time. The tanker fob and a set of tragic cards. I have actually started playing magic again. I never thought that day would come. Lord help me if I ever start buying cards. So that that's the most exciting thing that I've had happen in the series so far, I think. At least as far as I can remember. It's been so long. I spent, what, five or six videos running back and forth to this place? place? 3,500 experience? And I'm loaded up on all the loot I could ever need. Got a decent amount of levels under my belt. If I get real spunky, I could try and fix Rex and take him with us. Someone told me to use my doctoring ability on him because he's got broken limbs most likely which again is a great idea if I didn't have 12 doctoring skill no fuck the enclave they must have noticed I snuck into the base again they've sent out patrols to try and stop me but I'm on to their ways I've got a radio that eavesdrops into their communications. I can pick up where their patrols are and where they're going to be. And yes, I know this would be much quicker if I had the car fixed, but I don't have the car fixed. And as far as I can tell, I'm never going to have the car fixed. I can't remember where the part I need is. And yes, it's been told to me in the comments. But that was like weeks or months ago. I can't remember which video the comment was posted on. But that is truly beside the point. Because where we're going, we're not going to need cars. Come on, make it right here. You can do it. Yes. We make camp for the day. This will be last camp. And hopefully soon we won't have to spend another night out in the wasteland. A bunch of fire geckos. Habologists, no. Don't need any more loot. Probably am close to leveling up. That'll be taken care of soon, too. God damn, more aliens. They might be getting ready to raid San Fran. And here we go. Let's go to the tanker. Just straight there. Save it. 405 again. Except I really should have dropped off this loot. Ooh, they got a general store here. Fancy. 
I see a Mal Tanker vagrant. Look at all these new punks. Posers. Oh, my guts. Uh, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? I'll tell you. It's that I got drunk last week. Started gambling with Lao Chow and lost. I was so blind drunk that I bet my spleen. Now he has it. I... I need it back. You sold your fucking spleen? Yeah, I sold it. I was drunk. Plus, I think Lao Chow slipped some jet in my drink. I need my spleen back because I'm getting infections now. You know, I'll take a look for it. I really appreciate this. Go talk to Lao Chow, the merchant. Tell him I need my spleen back. Yeah, yeah. Sure would be nice to live here. If you guys don't live here, what do you do? In fact, I'd rather die than give you control. Head like a hole. These she sure look funny. Where do all these lifts go? Come here, you. You're probably nobody. Next bozo who calls me bitch is getting flash fried. Ooh, guns. The best thing about being a nomad is self-control. I see who this guy with the guns is. I'm sorry, but I'm closed. I open at around 8. Can I rest? Okay. I do want to see what's in the shops here. 927. Hello again. Back for more? Yes, I am. Now that you're open. Jet antidote. Ooh. Take all this. Maybe not all your drugs. And a mega power fist. 3,000. Get one more batch of micro. There we go. It's like all those drugs are tempting, but. Nope, nothing else. I bid you a pleasant day. I doubt he has anything else. Let's see what the general store has. First, Jenna, I want some information. I've learned that the less you know, the longer you live. I have no other information for you. Now, would you like to see my goods? Sure. Guess I won't push the issue. Tons of Jimmy hats, holy shit. An expanded lockpick set. Take that. Guns and bullets. Scout handbook. I doubt it can do me any good. But hey, they're cheap. Why not? 358. And... What is that? Does this make us just about square? There we go. I was really hoping that they had better goods, but they are squatters. So I shouldn't be too surprised. Hello, you? No, I've not found your spleen yet. I'll have to go back into town for that. Hey, there's a bar up there. And I should have checked both of those tables. He belches loudly. What do you want? We belch back at him. He summons another throaty burp, and we belch even louder. He spits forth a horrific belch that defies the very heavens in its volume and depth. All we can do is applaud. Amazing. So, what can you tell me about this tanker? You ought to talk to Mark or the captain about that. Okay, and where's Mark? He's down on the bar. And what do you do? I'm the resident computer genius. Oh yeah? And what sort of computer stuff do you do? Well, let's just say I'm an information retrieval specialist. Go on. It means that I can find data you need. Now that's cool. So who are you? I'm Badger. I used to have a band called ourselves There We Smolder. Now I'm the resident computer tech in San Fran. So, was the band any good? I'll say. We kicked ass. Our singer was, uh, a bit of a ponce. And Aaron was always sweating. Everything else was Todd's fault, but hell, we were good. Damn, it's too bad you're not back together. I'd like to have heard a band just once in my life. Yeah, I bet you would have. Anyway, I've got to get back to this. Okay, where's the captain? Usually in the bridge. Okay. Mind if I take a look at your computer, see what you're up to? Nothing. 
the screen's blank. Maybe he's got the program hidden away. Maybe he doesn't even know what he's doing at all. Bet we could make a hell of a scene. What can I do for you, Mama Jama? Who are you? I'm Mark. I'm the resident smartass and know-it-all. He beams a smile at us. So what can I do for you? What is this place? This is the Poseidon Marine Vessel Valdez, also called the PMV Valdez. If you want more information about the Valdez or Valdez, the best person to ask is the captain. Okay, and who is that? The captain is a tough-ass old military guy. He sits upstairs there and checks the place out. He's got some thorough knowledge about this ship. So I'm guessing the captain's in charge. <laughs> no, no one's in charge of us. So, where'd you all come from? Oh, all over the wasteland. We'd heard things about San Francisco, passed down from our elders. Some of us have ancestors who used to live here before the Great War. You want to hear more? Sure. We're a band of musicians, tech heads, geeks, and artists. We thought we'd come back to some place famous for artistic and personal freedom. I came here to spawn. Still got your ear? Yes. Well, when we got here, we figured we'd camp out here until we either figured out how to get this tanker moving again, or until we thought of something else. Okay, so have you figured out how to move the tanker? I think the captain's figured out how to do it, but we need several elements first. We've basically given up on taking it for ourselves, to tell the truth. We've got other plans now. And what are they? You want to know what our plans are? We're going to keep moving around until we can find a place that hasn't been screwed over by human greed. And then we're going to try to set up a better society. So do you know how you're going to do that? We're hoping that we can avoid society's mistakes. Hell, things can't get much worse. What do you know about the Hobologists, or what's the left of them anyways? Fuck, they're crazy. Don't trust them, unless you're mentally feeble or like being screwed over. They're interested only in your money and your soul. There's a good chance they'll destroy the one to get at the other. I've seen it happen too many times. And what about the she? They're a good sort as far as they go. They're a little untrusting of outsiders. But then, that's not always such a bad attitude to take in these times. They've got some weird customs and they talk funny. But they're alright. Okay, farewell. What do you got, barkeep? What's on tap? I'm slim. What do you'll have? Information. Well, I ain't no library, and this ain't no computer room. Drink up or get out. Fine, I'll take booze. Maybe. Nope. None of that shit. Yes, that's it for me. Ooh. Stairs here. I think that's stairs. Does that mean the captain's up here? I hear the Shi Emperor is inhumanly smart. What the hell do you want? I don't speak to anyone unless they're friends or good people. Do something for one of my buddies and then come talk to me. Well, fuck you, Mr. Quest Counter. Do you know who I am? Do you know what I've done to get here? I could kill all of you and take this fucking tanker for myself. Take my tribe if I ever find them. Take them someplace better. Far, far away from here. Need to go check out those lockers, too. AS9 cheated us, and he'll cheat you, too, if you let him. Did I just close that door? Yes, I did. This is a pretty big place. Are you anybody? Sometimes I get sick of traveling. Let's settle down somewhere. What's the worst that could happen if you plant your feet for a bit? Read that. We learn nothing new. I'm not surprised. I might have to go get that damn spleen. Because no one else has requested anything. Anybody mind if I rifle through these lockers? Probably not, because they're going to be empty, huh? No pass keys, no gizmos, no whatchamacallsits. Damn. 
I was hoping for something there. Even though I doubt these people leave much laying around. And a vase. Which almost never have anything. When you can even check them, that is. Okay, let's go check that spleen out real quick. Because once I start exploring the rest of this ship, it could take a while. Yeah, make sure you dip your head in that stuff too. I hear it's great for your hair. Gives it a nice little glow. A lovely shine. Even the ladies will be jealous. So, is it this merchant over here? I guess you're not a spy. Maybe I am. So who is this? Guard. Man who looks much like a shopkeeper. Information. I'm looking for a spleen. A spleen? Ha ha ha! Yes! Chip from Favaldi has lost his spleen in a card game the other day. I sold it to Dr. Wong. He was fascinated by it. So where can I find him? He is the head scientist in the Steel Palace. Seek him there. Okay, bye. The Steel Palace, huh? And also, hang on. I need to swing by here for more Goss ammo. It could be the last chance I get to buy any. Let's see what you got, old man. Just a shame you don't have any upgrades. Combat Armor Mark II. What are you gonna give me for these books? 400 apiece, maybe 200 apiece. What a rip off! Eh, he can make that much. Damn, I love the look of that minigun too. Heavy weapons are awesome. I do kind of regret not taking them. I think I've only used them a couple times as my primary weapon. The Vindicator minigun. Beautiful weapon. He doesn't have anything I want. You couldn't get any Goss ammo in this time, you jerk. I guess I'll keep all my goods this time. Farewell. And... I think this leads to the Steel Palace. Hopefully I can get the spleen before I end the video. So it might be a few days before I get back to recording this game. Is she in white clothing? Wait, no, maybe it's this guy. Yeah, I hear you have someone else's spleen. Ah, yes, indeed. I will prepare it with fava beans and a nice chiante. I can't do that thing. You do know that you're supposed to serve liver with that wine instead of spleen, right? Ahaha, ha, yes. I too saw that old movie. Wait, what are you saying? Are you saying that? Yeah, it's a human spleen. From a dirty old vagrant. Ugh, it's a human spleen. Lao Chao didn't tell me that. Tell your friend to come by for it within the next day, and I will gladly return it to him. I just hope you can find a way to replace it in his body in time. Very well. Delicious. I hate liver. Can't say I've ever had spleen of any type. Can't say I've ever... Can't say I've ever heard of spleen being used in anything but maybe... Haggis. I think that uses spleen. And I've never been brave enough to try that. Okay. I guess uh, I kind of want to tell this guy about his spleen before I end the video, too. So I'm curious if I have to escort him there now. Hey, vagrant guy. Yes, Dr. Wong has it. He'll give it back to you. If you just uh, go there quick. He's looking kind of hungry. All right. Before I do, maybe we ought to set up a way to get it back in me. Talk to Dr. Fung about that, all, all right? Fine, all right. Okay, whenever we come back, I guess we're gonna go find Dr. Fung. 
I'm not sure who the hell that is. I don't think it's who we just talked to. But we'll get this guy's spleen back in him. Until next time, folks.